Hi, today we're going to talk about planting your new fruit trees. It's autumn now, which is nature's best time for planting. Although you can plant your fruit trees all year round, but we have new stocks in the garden centre during autumn, so it's a great time to plant. Temperatures are dropping, but the soil temperatures are still high, so you get really good, quick new root growth. And to help with that, I've got my new fruit tree sitting in a bucket of organic root growth, which stimulates the roots. And the faster the new roots get out, the more growth you'll get. The thing about fruit trees in autumn is the stock is of a good size to get home and plant. And when you're going to plant your fruit tree, for mine, I'm going to spalliate it against this wire here, which is a bit like if you were planting it against a fence at home, because you can plant them right the way along your fence line. I plant ours about three metres apart and they produce masses of fruit, heaps to eat and enough for bottling in some cases. So to choose your fruit tree, if you're going to be planting it against a fence or on a wire like this, you need to choose one that is naturally the right shape for you, if you can. If not, you can always prune it to shape, but this one's ideal. It's got two branches that I can train down, and up here next year, I'll be able to take a couple of these little branches and train them out as well. So you can see, if I'm putting this up against my wire here, to be similar like this pear tree. It's obviously going to drop on the ground a little bit and then I would tie these branches down like the pear tree is and just tie it down with a ball of tie both ways like that and then next year you'll be able to train perhaps these two branches up here. You'd keep the top on at this stage because you may want it to go higher than I do or you might want to put a third wire in. So just keep your options open to start with. Down at the base you can see there's some branches that you don't want. So these little branches at the bottom, we can take off at the moment. They're of no use to us or the tree. And one of them's actually got damage coming home. And that one. I'll leave these two on at the moment because the tree actually needs quite a few leaves to feed itself with. So next summer you could take these ones off and keep your leaves and your branches from here upwards. But at this stage, I'm just going to leave these on as the leaves take in all the goodies from the sun and help the tree grow. When you're pruning, use prune and paste to seal the cuts and to stop any fungal issues or diseases getting into the cut. It's really quite easy. It's just a little brush like that. And you just paint it on your little cuts. Obviously, these cuts are pretty small at the moment. But next year, when you have bigger branches and bigger cuts, that's what you'll be doing. So when it comes to planting your fruit tree, obviously, you need to take the pot off first dig a really big hole as big as you can. Fruit trees like really good soil so if you have really clay soil or really light soil please do talk to the garden centre staff and they'll advise you what product or what compost or garden mix will be best to pop in the hole at your house. Everyone's soil's conditions are different so it's just best to ask for some local advice. Here I use Dolphin's garden mix in the hole and on top because we're very dry I mulch with Tui Mulch and Feed. That not only feeds, but it keeps the weeds out as well and it keeps the moisture into the soil. When I've dug my hole, I pop some I Can Slow Food in and that'll feed the tree for two years. And then you can just give it a top up every spring and perhaps in autumn again with something like Novatech to keep it really going strongly. So when training your fruit tree along the wire, you just need to tie it at a few intervals with some soft tie, which doesn't damage the branch and it also expands a little bit to allow for your little branch to fatten as it grows. Any soft tie will do as long as it's soft and has a little bit of movement in it. You can even use your old pantyhose if you've still got some. 